Hi all, Mass Mountain Cup from Kaiser Power Electronics. Today we're taking a look at this vintage old, very stylish 630 amp contactor from ASEA, which is uh, one of the two merchant companies that has turned into ABB as we know it today. Now this can do up to 300 kilowatt of motor load power and it weighs in at around 10 to 15 kilograms. So uh, let's try to turn it on, see what kind of smack it makes when it turns on and also take a look at the wear on the contact points and also just enjoy the very nice 60s styled design here. Almost any ASEA product from this age it will have this very noticeable orange color on it somewhere. We can see it's the model EG631, which is for the max current load of 630 amps. Now looking at the different voltages, we can use from 220 up to 500 volt AC. And that gives a voltage range of 190 kilowatt up to 440 kilowatt. Also said here, it is made in Sweden. Now the grills we have here at the front, they are actually meant for cooling. So it is a passive cooling tunnel that you have cold air entering at the bottom and the hot air exhausting here at the top by natural convection. It has some very nice large double terminals here that all go in into the same piece of metal. So it is three phased. At the bottom we have the coil which turns it on, rated for 220 volt AC at 50 Hertz. Let's try to turn it on. This will probably get pretty loud. So please uh, bear with me and turn down your volume if you feel this will get too loud. That is quite a serious uh, turn on. Whoa. Let's try that again. That makes my whole uh, work table uh, jump up and down and uh, that very nice 50 hertz hum. I would imagine that uh, if you walk by an electric cabinet and this turned on, you will get... So let's take a look at the contact points. Good old and large contactors like this are made to be maintained. So it has only four screws, one in each corner. And we can actually lift the whole top off here. And we can also see through the grill here. Underneath we have the three large contactor sets here. And we see it does have some arcing damage here and there. But actually have some nice large uh, plugs and plates to make the contact point. So here we can actually see we have some arcing damages here, 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 there, 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 there and some under, in underneath over here. But overall uh, they are in pretty nice shape. There certainly is nothing to see up on the platin part. It is only the uh, copper part down here that has taken the largest part of the wear. I would say it is pretty rare that I find a large vintage electronics like this. So this is really a keeper. Uh, even just for collector's purposes, this is a really nice item. And what is also worth noticing is that it is a almost completely casted aluminium uh, enclosure. Both the whole bottom part and the top enclosure here is made from casted aluminium. Uh, then it also has these uh, coated steel parts for the grills. But the only plastic parts that you find are actually the ones where the contact points are mounted in. So that also gives up quite some weight to this unit. So until next time, see ya.